Hello people, welcome to Gurukula and I am Jai. So today in this video we are going to see top 5 Google search tips and tricks which could actually help you to save quite a lot of time that you spend in searching for a particular piece of information on Google. So these 5 tips and tricks will definitely be, will help you to be more productive in your workplace. So without any further delay, let us get into the topic. So the first trick which I'm going to show you is the related search. So the related search will help you to find out all the related websites which are very similar to a website that you are looking for. So for an example, we very well know that Kahoot.com is a well-known platform which will help us to conduct quiz in an online platform. So now for some of the other reasons, there is no possible uh, way to conduct quizzes on kahoot.com everyone is not feasible with kahoot.com so what i would out of interest i would like to know what are all the other similar websites that is equivalent to kahoot.com so what i could actually i can ask this particular information to google just key in type related colon and then the website that you are looking for so kahoot.com so when you key in this particular search, you can see that the Google have actually given you there are lots of websites that is very similar to Kahoot.com. So Quizlet.com, Padlet and then Nearpod, EDPuzzle, all these websites are very much related to Kahoot.com. So this is how you can find out or you can explore the other websites which is very much close to this particular Kahoot.com website. So that I can put you on one more example as well. Let us see what are all the similar websites that is available for Facebook.com. So we very well know what Facebook.com is and we use it for in our daily day situations. And then as you could see this LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, MySpace, all these websites are very much similar to the Facebook.com. So that is our first tip where you can find a very related or very similar websites of the one which you are searching for. So let's move on to the second tip. The second tip is a domain search. Let's take for an example. If I wanted to search for an information regarding the galaxy, so G A L A X Y. So I am I wanted to search for a keyword galaxy and this simple search on Google will give us quite a lots of information that is related or that is matching the word galaxy that gives me the phone information and also that gives me the space space information as such now i don't want to look for the word galaxy in the entire internet but i am very much interested to know about the word galaxy from a particular site so what i can do is i can ask google to search on a particular site so that the keyword what you can key in is you can type site and then you can type nasa.gov. Now when I press enter, you can see that the Google will search for the word galaxy in a particular NASA website alone. So there you can see all my search results is from only from the nasa.gov. So now the Google have searched only the website nasa.gov and then that gives me lots of information about the word galaxy from the specific site nasa.gov. So similarly, what I can do is I can uh, search for any news that appeared about Apple on a particular news website. Let's take times now news.com. So searching like this will give you quite a lots of information about the Apple only appeared in times now news.com. The similar search appears for any website. So so for, for this particular search, you can actually key in a particular website which you wanted to search for a particular keyword. So this will be very much helpful when you wanted to search a particular domain or a particular web page which you are looking for. So let's move on to the next step. This tip will be very much helpful for the students and then the teachers, those who are looking to download a document. Uh, especially in the PDF format or in the Word document or PPT format. So this search trick is what we call it as the document search. So let's try for an example. I am searching for some document that is related to cyber security. So 
I am searching for something called a cyber security and this is a boring search fine so now what I wanted to do is I need documents that are related to cyber search security which is especially in PDF format so if I wanted to download uh, the documents that is related to cyber security in PDF format so what I can do is I can add file name sorry file type colon PDF so this key in will always gives us or it will list out what are all the various documents that is related to cyber security especially in PDF format where you can see all the search results will give us the PDF search results so all these documents that are related to this particular search is an PDF document so similarly what I can do is let's take for an example I am searching for an PPT template on an internet so online teaching template and whose file type I am expecting is to be PPT. I am looking for some presentations which I can download and then I can edit. So now you can see Google have narrowed down the search which has all these search results will especially have a PPT attachment in it. So there you can see over here all these will give us only the PPT search results. So all these search results are in PPT format and similarly you can search for the document as well. So let's take for an example I, am, I wanted to design a browser so I wanted to design a brochure and whose document or uh, whose file type is supposed to be doc over here okay so there you can see the search results have ended up only in the document which could be in the word format which you can download and then you can edit so this file type search will definitely help you to search for the documents that is available on internet especially uh, looking for the file type of the document it may be PDF or it may be PPT or it may be a document a word format and also you can search for audio files as well just key in the file type as audio over here and then the fourth trick which I wanted to search for is the exact face search so if I wanted to search for an exact exact phrase that is appearing on the internet let's take for an example so COVID impact on education so if I simply search for this my Google will break down all the words that have entered in the search box and then it will give us all the results which has a combination of the words that I've given in the search bar but I'm not interested to go through all these uh, results but I wanted to search for the websites which exactly has this particular phrase which means COVID impact on education so what I just wanted to do is you can just add a double colon sorry a double quotes in front and back you can just put the keyword which you wanted to search inside double quotes and then you can press enter so now you can see that the Google will give you the search information which has the exact phrase that you have typed in so now the Google will not just divide in the words and then it will give you the entire phrase that is happening on the websites so there you can see you have COVID-19 sorry COVID impact on education COVID impact on education like this so this double quotes will almost help you to search for an exact phrase which you are looking for so the last and final tip which you are going to see over here is the time search tip so where you can actually search for the information which has appeared on the internet for the past one year or the past month or a past one day after for any particular time duration <coughs> So what you can do is I wanted to search for any cyber security related informations. I wanted to search for any cyber security related informations on the internet which have appeared. So this will show us the, all the crap of information that is available on the internet but I'm not interested to go through all these search results. What I what I'm interested is I wanted to know if there is anything posted on the internet related to cyber security in the past one month of duration. So what I can do is I can always go for tools and then I can go for any time over here. I can change it to the past month. So changing this setting will give you all the information that is posted on the internet related to cyber security and this will be one month of old information. So any information that is posted on the informa uh, posted on the internet for the past one month will be displayed over here in the Google search. So this would be very much helpful for you to conduct any 
uh, case studies or this could be helpful for you to do any analytical on a particular company or any particular product which you wanted to go for in. So now, so these are the five important tips and tricks which could actually help you to be more productive in your work environment and which could actually save quite a lot of time you spend on your internet. So I'm winding up this particular video over here and then I'm going to see you in the next particular video. Until then, it's bye from Jay and happy learning.